name's Sarah. I work with Dr. Sills at his practice. I have not. This is actually my first mission trip, my first time out of the country altogether, so it's been an amazing experience. I was really um, a little reluctant on how the people would receive us, being American and how it is now. I wasn't really sure how that would go, and I was so surprised at how welcoming they were and how kind and grateful for us to be here that they have been. It's a huge reservation for me, and it's completely the opposite the children's faces. Uh, whenever you see them, the smallest things, they love to see their own photo. We, um, during a break, we went on um, like a, just a little trip through, through their land and they showed us their home. We encountered a family that had never had a photo together before and the mother had never seen herself on photo before. So that was great. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. <laughs> I would do this a million times over and anybody that ever had a question I would tell you to pray for God to guide your feet and he will guide them in the right in the right direction on where they need to go it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done probably <laughs>
they're just their faith is just unshakable and considering their circumstances considering how hard their life is it's very moving to see that they have such a strong faith in God. I'm, I'm Dr. David Staggs and my job for the last several years is to be the team leader for the Guatemala mission. Uh, and the biggest part of that is doing the preparation for the uh, trip down here. I arrange all the transportation, insurance, purchase of medications and then arrangements with Salutapaz to prepare for our arrival down here. One of my favorite parts is meeting uh, up with old friends like Jose and, and people we've worked with for years. But my absolute favorite t thing is to see this team come together and work efficiently and, and see them uh, do the good work that they do when we get here. Basically, it's, it's the same. We see medical patients, we see dental patients, uh, and that's pretty much stays the same from year to year. Our teams may vary a little. We have a lot of people that have been here just practically every time we've come, but then every year we have new people as well. Oh, I would encourage anybody that uh, would consider doing this to come. It's, it's just a life-altering uh, experience. It's, it's been a wonderful experience for me. I look forward to it every year. We want new blood. My name is Carmen Cobb, and I am doing the triage. My job with the patient is first to introduce myself or they can be more comfortable who I am. And uh, I do the glucose test and the urine dip stick and some pregnancy tests. And I help them to, uh, to translate when they not speak English. And they are very thankful for us to be here. This is my first mission trip to Guatemala with the, uh, with the group of the First Methodist Church. I am very pleased that they invite me. I, am, I hope so I can come back next year because I really enjoy every single community. And I am very, very blessed and I am very thanks to God they give me the opportunity to be here and to help the community. This is my fourth time uh, coming to Guatemala. Uh, it's been a little bit different this year, post-COVID. Uh, the people are just as uh, sweet, just as friendly. Uh, the circumstances have been different at how we work, but we've all come together. Some people have never been in the dental mouth before, and they've been phenomenal assistance in just a couple of days they've picked it up. It's really been amazing. This is my first year that we're coming. Um, I've, it's been amazing. It's been a blessing to be able to come and see what people in a third world country does not have what we have in the States. And it's amazing. Is it what you thought it would be? It's completely different. Well, kind of what they were trying to tell me, him and Jimmy were trying to tell me, was it was what they experienced and what I would have experienced was an adult clinic. So I was expecting it to be back at home. <laughs> but it, I mean, I don't expect it to be less. But you have to admit, you didn't really want to come, or you kind of did, and you're having a whole, much, a whole bunch better time than you thought you could, right? Okay, plane, okay, okay, yes. The plane ride and the bus trips. <laughs> it was your first time on a plane. Yes, <laughs> and out of the country. <laughs> More so less, but yes, it's been it's been helpful. So this is my sixth time here, and the last time uh, because it is kind of hard work, I so I wouldn't come back. But uh, I did, and I'm glad I did because it's been really good. Because uh, I enjoy working with my cousin and his wife, but Caitlin, this is her first time, and I knew she had a good experience. And I really enjoyed working with these two over here. Uh, they have done an amazing job. Uh, but this time, twice so far out of three days, we worked in an open air environment, just with outdoors, and it's been great. Today was the first time out of all six years that we didn't even have country floor. We just worked going on the grass, on the dirt. And it was interesting, uh, but it was, it was good. And so it's been a, it's been a great, great week. Uh, it's my first time. I've been touched. I thought I would never hold a needle, let alone watch a needle. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> and 
if you had told me a week ago I was doing this, I would have said, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have definitely felt, I've been asking for prayer, asking where I'm going to go with my career, because I've been trying to get a job at the schools, the local schools, and uh, it hasn't been working out. <laughs> Hi, but uh, so now I am signing up for school and I'm going to be a dental assistant because of these fabulous people that I work with and all of their knowledge. Okay, well, not all. <laughs> because, you know, but yes, thank you all so very thank much. You. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so, this is my first year and I uh, truly didn't know what to expect. I've heard stories from several people that have, have gone before just kind of let me know about it and um, it's it's just it's really hard to explain yeah, so it's a blessing to be here um very uh just interacting with the people and seeing how thankful that they are is very humbling um, and it's just it's been a pure joy to me and i I would like to just to say a little something to close. Um, my job, I stand back in the back and I clean the dental instruments and they have to soak for a certain amount of time. But the reason that I absolutely love doing that job is because I get to stand back and watch these people work. And it is like day one, it took us a few tries to get everything working. And then since then, it's just worked like clockwork. And it's just, such a blessing for me to stand back and get to watch these amazing people work. And we have laughed a lot. It has been so much fun. They'll come up and ask me about a certain tool, and I'm like, I don't know which one it is. I'm like, look at like it's clean on. So it's been an awesome week, and we've been super blessed to be a part of this. I saw, I was surprised, I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was surprised at how quickly Bud who never worked in pharmacy before, took to it and was dispensing medicine just within a couple of days, which was a good thing because we really, really needed him. The first thing that popped into my mind was the day that we were, it was our third day, mm -hmm. the people that said they were, they had, they were anxious and nervous. And that's something that we really had not heard before. So, mm -hmm. and that community I think had been really isolated from COVID and this was, they are just starting to have people up there that didn't mingle together again. So it's just really telling about the pandemic and the effect that's had on them. I was surprised that I picked it up as quickly as I did, but I had two really good teachers. <laughs> and those faces, mm -hmm. the old faces, the sweet old faces, of the patients, they come and they want to, they want to tell you thank you. Yes. Some of them want to hug you, and, and uh, oh, sweet so little kids, sweet <laughs> little children. Yeah, big brown eyes. Yeah, and our translators were so wonderful. They're so kind and respectful to our patients, and and, and to each other, and to us. And to and the country is just beautiful. Uh, the landscape's beautiful. Painted notes. Definitely a third world country and a lot of poverty, but it's a it's a beautiful country and people are happy even though they're there and they're sick. You know, they're smiling. They thank us and and they wait so patiently. No one's no one's pushing or shoving or demanding. They just wait patiently, and then when we break for lunch, they're just there waiting when we get back. Is it the, this is my first experience with this particular mission trip. Uh, it's very well organized. So the POS is a, a tremendous organization uh, to work with. And uh, like with every mission trip I've been on, it's been a really uh, wonderful spiritual experience. And so, yeah, I would encourage anybody that has an opportunity to come uh, on this trip or on any kind of mission experience to, to do that. We visited two sisters at their home while we were in Guatemala, and it was so touching because they were totally unable to walk. They had never seen a doctor. This had been going on from 
four months to four years, depending on which sister we're talking about. And they were so grateful that we came to see them. Uh, their house was very, very uh, spare. They had a dirt floor and uh, no electricity, no plumbing. We were all very touched. We had a prayer for them. And uh, when we left, I think we were all in tears.